Welcome to another episode of Straight Out of Camera. Today's film simulation recipe I titled Stone Garden. And like always, these recipe settings are in the description and they will be on my blog as well. Stone Garden is the latest addition to my collection of color street photography recipes. In general, style-wise, this sits somewhere between my C3400 recipe and my Metro Elements recipe. These, along with some of the other recipes I created, were all intended for street photography. But many of these can translate very well to all kinds of photography. Of course, I appreciate recipes with a vintage look and vintage vibe, and oftentimes that's what I try to achieve. I've created those recipes before, and I intend to create more of those in the future. But this Stone Garden recipe really isn't one of those vintage-like recipes. This is one of those recipes that just takes advantage of the capabilities of these modern cameras. My main goals for this recipe were to still have some grainy texture as well as a little bit of softness, yet have some really good color rendition. Oftentimes when I'm playing around with vintage looks and vintage vibes, I dial back that color quite a bit and I didn't do that in this one. I wanted to give myself opportunities to have some pop of color when there's some vibrant scenes. I also knew I wanted to create one like this that had a locked in white balance. Since my C3400 recipe has a cool blue tint to it when shooting out in the daytime, I wanted something that was pushing a little more towards normal daylight balance. This isn't quite there, but close enough that it's still within a normal looking range to the eye. But this leaves it some latitude, so if you're using it at night for night tree photography, it's gonna create some cool looks. So this recipe was created on my X-H1, which has the X-Trans 3 sensor, so this recipe should translate perfectly to the X-T20, to the X-T2, the X-H1, of course, and anything after those cameras. Although this was built on my X-H1, this will work really well on the X-T1 and some of the older cameras because the key elements are ProNig standard, that locked in white balance setting, and some of the other settings aren't pushed too far out of range of what those cameras can do. The only one you won't have specifically is the grain setting. As I create more of these, the differences between some of these becomes more and more subtle because there is only so many combinations. But there are differences between them, and really the only way to, to grasp those key differences is to shoot each one and compare it for yourself. Shoot it in the scenarios that you're shooting in often and then study the images and see what works best and save your favorites into your camera. Maybe at some point I'll create some sort of PDF or some sort of visual tool with sample images laid out next to each other so you can instantly visually see the differences between these recipes. So this was created with street photography in mind. It's what I like to shoot a lot of the past couple of years, but this will translate well to all kinds of photography. I'm gonna be curious to see how it does with night photography with a lot of street lights and different color lights. So far, the situations I use it in, I really enjoy it and I really like this. As of right now, this will probably be my go-to walk around recipe for street photography, uh, when I'm shooting color that is. So give the Stone Garden recipe a shot and let me know how you like it and show me some samples if you're up for it. So like always, I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching and haven't subscribed yet, which a lot of people do it seems, I invite you to subscribe. There's gonna be a lot more of this Straight Outta Camera series over the next year. Um, I'll have more 
Fujifilm related videos on the way as well. So hit the like, subscribe, and keep an eye on the channel and my blog. So thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.